ultimately, I helped him because he said, I want to make a film about college life as we know it right here at Fan Beauty. And I said, okay, I can help you do that. And what I did was I helped him raise the money and hire the actors and ultimately find the distribution and get the film released. And it wasn't until later that I realized that is what a producer does. Here's how the story went. We go off, we are at FAMU, FAMU doesn't have a film school. We had a lot of drive and a lot of ambition, always. We were hustlers from the word go, always. We did not have a lot of technical experience, though, when it came to making films. Florida State University, which is right across the railroad tracks in Tallahassee, they had a film school. So, what we did was we went over to Florida State and we said, we got some of the film school students there and we said, listen, we're gonna make a move, okay? We want you guys to help us make this move. We needed the technical proficiency that they brought as film school students to help us. They said, absolutely. We finished Chocolate City, sent it out to Hollywood, sent Chocolate City to every last studio out there. What we did first was we had a premiere. We had the worldwide premiere of Chocolate City right there on the campus of Florida A&M University. You gotta have a dream though. I'm gonna bring this back full circle because if you don't have a dream, and I mean a big dream, if you don't dream in color, you waste your time. Go buy lottery tickets. Right there, even though nobody in LA gave a damn about our movie, guess what? Guess who did care about it? Students there at Florida a and University. A funny thing happened on the way to us getting absolutely and completely dissed by Hollywood. What happened was we had made a movie that was about subject matter that people in that little world cared about. See?